Do you guys know much about Wildstorm? No, you're about to tell me. Scott? Nope. Uh, do you remember <laughs> when... What was it called? Flashpoint happened. Yes. And the DC universe became a merger of three different timelines. Yeah. That was Vertigo, the normal DC universe, and Wildstorm. Wildstorm is a Jim Lee type creation um, that he it's like a DC sub-universe if you like, a bit like Ultimate Marvel I suppose um, and there's I've not read loads of it um, but there's some, there's some pretty good stories set in that world and certain characters who appear in lots of different books, it's got there's like an, the Authority books which are a bit of a team story and then there's a there's sort of solo series with the say you know those characters in them. Um, if you've read Planetary by Warren Ellis, that's set in a Wildstorm universe. Sleeper by Ed Brubaker, both fantastic stories. They're Wildstorm books, but you wouldn't necessarily know it because they're so detached from any any other book that, that you know there's you can just read them on their own and you get everything that you need. Um, so the planet the planetary books I've got at the moment on my app are all DC branded. So yeah. that looks like it's been rebranded. That's interesting. For the digital release. Mm. There's a Wildstorm cover in there, but the, the main cover is definitely DC for all the ones I've got on my to-read list. Well, part of the story of, um, of Planetary is that there's these, like, millennial people who live... They seem to be immortal. They're all born at, at the turn of a, the century or whatever it was, and... Um, there's a lot there's a lot of them and one of them is the character in the book like the main character but another one of them is for someone from the authority and you know it, that's one of the few little crossovers that they have and um the interesting thing about it is that um Warren Ellis himself is going to oversee it so he's going to write the main book set in this world and Oh, then kind of oversee what other people write. Uh, with, I guess there'll be a few different series going on at the same time, probably f- four or five. There's some concept art emerged, but not much else is known. But Warren Ellis is a big-time writer, um, but he just doesn't do that much comic stuff anymore, which is a shame because he's, yeah, he's fantastic when he does. Um, so, yeah, I don't know whether he's going to be able to keep to it it's a lot of work for one person to do to oversee a whole universe and he's not necessarily the most reliable fella um mm-hmm. some, some projects in the past of his have just been abandoned like straight up um halfway through <laughs> so i don't know um i don't I, i'm i'm excited because it's warren ellis and uh i will read anything he puts out but it's, it's sort of strange to see him taking on so much responsibility. I know he's had some health issues recently as well. So um, I just wanted to raise it and maybe let you guys know a bit about it because I think it'll be worth us checking out what they definitely. Do I'm, all, I'm all for checking out new, exciting aspects of the comic world. I guess you would call it. It's the comic. The other, the other strange thing is to see that. They're, after Flashpoint, they kind of merged Wildstorm, they folded it into that reality, and now it's coming back. Mm. And I don't know whether that it's going to still share that reality or create a new one for it, or or what really, how they're going to handle it. Because they're kind of undoing what they did with um, New 52, in a way, by bringing mm. it back. So, yeah, we'll see anyway. But they're undoing a lot of things they did in New 52 with Rebirth anyway, so maybe that's yeah, just one of the things. That's yeah. kind of part of the focus of it, isn't it? Um, mm. So, like, why these, why this happened and and what the consequences of it are and whatever. Uh, whereas this, I don't know whether that's going to be part of that story or whether they're just going to ignore it and get on with their own thing. So, we'll see. I how... think, honestly, that might be the best thing for them to do is ignore it because I really like Flashpoint and I don't want it to ruin everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my favorite flash stories All right. and like it was it's it was great and like <laughs> if it doesn't have ramifications anymore it kind of takes away from flashpoint well don't worry i mean wildstorm weren't they weren't really doing anything at the time no, it, it, it was kind of a redundant line um 
so it it wasn't a problem when they decided to merge the timelines or whatever they, you'd call it. But now it's a case of how are they going to tackle the revival of it. Um, so we'll see, I guess, in a few weeks and months' time. Yes. <clears throat> um, 